Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo. You mind if I get in here with you? Can I just get in here with you, get a little? There you go, yeah, t okay, get a good one. Texas folks are so friendly. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. I got myself a vanilla bean frappuccino. Look at this thing. This is insane. Something to definitely sing about. Oh yeah, I'd be drinking it too. Cause as long as it has caffeine, there's room enough for two. He meant on the straw. There's room for two people on the straw. This is an interesting mural. There's a campfire and there's a tug of war going on between six slushies. Old Malton Burger neon sign. That's pretty cool. I've arrived in a little town called Rosenberg. This Christian counseling center used to be a Kodak store. Old school signage. I like this place. A lot of the buildings here in town have a very old school Americana feel to them. There you go. Old classic fire engine. Wait a second. Was that Burt Reynolds? Guy L. McNutt Insurance. The clock isn't working correctly, but man, this is a super old school vintage neon sign. There's just something about walking around a small town. Small town life in general is very appealing. It's nice to just pull over, wander around a little downtown and soak in the vibe. And when a lighthouse is embedded into the structure of one of the local businesses, adds a little something extra. I really have a small infatuation with things like this. The old soda fountain, buildings that are well over 100 years old, mom and pop stores, non-corporate organizations stretching down the street. And I think that's why I like Main Street USA at Disneyland so much. Walt Disney recreated this perfectly. Looks like tucked away behind this barbed wire fence is yet another fire engine. A lot of people think you have to go down Route 66 to see stuff like this. Not true, it's everywhere. Now don't get me wrong, I love Route 66. There will come a time in the not too distant future that I will take the RV from either Los Angeles to Chicago or Chicago to Los Angeles and do the entire stretch in one gigantic chunk, but never underestimate the beauty, the majesticness of rural U.S. Did I say that right? Rural, rural USA. Holy crud! Look at that. The old Liberty Theater. You can see where the Hollywood-esque emblem has fallen off. The marquee used to be mounted on these steel beams right across here. And as typical for movie establishments of that era, there is a painted decorative walkway on the entryway in. And look, right through here, the boards have been broken off and you can see the original tiling there as a remnant. The snack bar there to the left and the stairwell leading to the balcony over there in the corner. I would love to get in here, but it's locked. One thing I've noticed recently is that every laundromat I pass here in Texas is not called that. It's called a washateria. At first I thought it was just a clever name for one or two establishments, but every one of them is called that. A washateria. I'm not sure what country foe is, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Park. Mission accomplished. Check that out. That takes a tree stand, I guess for deer hunting, to a whole new level. It's mobile. There's a new one. Stop and buy. But it's spelled B-Y-E like stop and goodbye. Shouldn't it be B-U-Y? Or is it just a clever play on words? Oh, that's what it is. It's a clever play on words. I just stopped and now I'm saying goodbye. It's like an old western saloon. The Roosevelt Lodge Cafe and Gift Shop. Now closed. Looks like at one time quite the storm rolled through here. Ripped the awning off that gas station. 
The name of the area is Kendleton, according to the water tower there. I thought I could get back on the interstate by going down this road. I was wrong. It's just a complete circle. It's just a turnaround that takes me back to the last off-ramp. It's a little unusual. You don't normally see that. It's a little on the windy side today. The Hungerford Bar, home of darts, dancing, beer, and pool. It's not open anymore. The roof has been torn off by the wind. Definitely picture Patrick Swayze being a bouncer in here. Rusted out old school Sitco logo. The side of that metal barrel in front of this building that used to be a welding business. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a Longhorn right there just grazing. Stopped off now in a little community called Wharton. Notable resident, this guy. And he loves saying goodbye to the passerbyers. Hello, truck. Good to see you. <laughs> this is a historic recreation of a peewee moment. Large Marge, dinosaurs, Cabazon, California. Yeah, it's a stretch, but it still makes me happy. Those barricades down there are to keep traffic out, but I decided to walk it. Check it out. I'm underneath this awesome old school bridge. They don't make them like this much anymore, that's for sure. There's another one over there, and this water is very murky. It's rare to get this opportunity, so it is dun -da -da, it's majestic time. dun -da -da, da majestic time. Flying it through the bridge that I'm walking on. Cars aren't allowed, but I am, and so is the drone. windy out here. Tonight, are you ready for this? Finally, for the first time in my life, I am going to sleep in a teepee. Look at these things. Incredible. For years, I've always wanted to do this. And it's time. Oh yes, it's time. I got my keys. Here it goes. Yes. <laughs> this ain't the Ritz Carlton, but it has a bed, it has a shower, a sink, a toilet, a couch, a table, a refrigerator, a microwave. I'm actually doing this! Oh, it's windy out here. This will also give me a chance to get out of the RV for a night. all the windows to get a little cross breeze through here. This one wouldn't stay in place, so I use the remote control to hold it. And an extra roll of toilet paper makes for a very good door stopper. And it even comes with an air conditioner unit, a grill, picnic table, and a chessboard. Or checkers, depending on your preference. What is your favorite punk band? Mine is The Descendants. Do you like The Descendants? The Descendants are definitely one of the best punk bands of all time. I also used to listen to Pennywise and No Effects and Bad Religion and Green Day and Offspring and Rancid. Listen to a lot of ska punk stuff like Mighty Mighty Boston and Suicide Machines. Listen to a lot of positive youth crew hardcore like Youth of the Day and Gorilla Biscuits, Straight Face, bands like that. Now I kind of just listen to whatever. The interesting thing is I ended up playing in one of my former favorite punk rock bands, Guttermouth, for a few years. And I'm still really good friends with all those guys, so pretty cool. I noticed that you wear a lot of different types of t-shirts, so do you have a favorite? I do have a serious collecting problem when it comes to cool t-shirts. In fact, I got one from this location, which you will see in a future video. As far as my favorite goes, I have an old Mickey Mouse shirt somewhere. It's either at my sister's or at my mom's in Florida that says Florida across it. It's like a really rare Walt Disney World shirt. You've probably seen me wear it in the past. I don't really, now that I think about it, where the heck is that shirt? I have something 
that is a lot better than your RV or any drone that you could fly. I have a tank. What? A real life tank. No way. I was able to find the tank that I drove when I was in the Austrian army back in Graz. Are you serious, Arnold? If you come to my house, we'll make a trade. Yeah, all right. You can drive my tank and you can crash things and I will fly the Majestic up in the air. That's amazing. And I can film for the video for the blog. Yes. And you can do a shout out or perhaps you can do a voice comparison with me. Yeah. And I can say, let off some steam in it. Yes. And then you can look into my eyes. No. See what's in there. Yeah, I love it. Peace out, Adam. All right, see ya. I'm starting to get the feeling that I'm the only one staying here. You almost fell in the biggest ant mound in existence. Look at that thing. Holy cow. That is slightly insane. No one else has checked into any of the other buildings. One thing's for sure. If I see a guy wandering around here that looks like Norman Bates, I'm gonna TP my pants. Vlog over.